Aries, this will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 21st through July the 22nd, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for July the 21st through July the 22nd, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for July the 21st through July the 22nd, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for July the 21st through July the 22nd, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Aries, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have uh, uh, the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Aries, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Aries. Clarify the three of swords for Aries. Clarify the three of swords for Aries. It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Aries could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Aries. Clarify the hermit. For Aries, clarify the hermit. For Aries, it is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leora Sag, this is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home, but this is the marriage ceremony card. So Aries, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're thinking long and hard about what you should do concerning this relationship or commitment. Now you can tell me that your feelings are hurt. I don't know, they may have hurt your feelings, Aries. Or you're telling me there was a third party involved. Now, this third party being involved could be on their behalf or your behalf. I don't know. You're doing some soul searching concerning this relationship, possibly because of a third party, like I said, on your behalf or theirs. You have the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Aries, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Clarify the two of swords. For Aries, clarify the two of swords. For Aries, clarify the two of swords. For Aries, it is clarified with you, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. 
This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the queen of wands for Aries. Clarify the queen of wands for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the queen of wands for Aries. It is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Aries, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Now Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're meditating and soul searching because you're indecisive about what to do concerning this relationship or commitment. Aries, you could also tell me that you just decided to take a break, put it to rest, and maybe block them out, Aries. Hmm. Aries, you have the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Aries, could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Aries. Clarify the lovers. For Aries, clarify the lovers. For Aries, it is clarified with the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is <clears throat> having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. Now, Aries, you can tell me that someone here has another other lover. There was lies and illusions and they had other options and explore some of those other options with someone else. But Aries, I want to know if you're in your head fantasizing about this other lover that may be yours. And this is the reason why you're indecisive and contemplating here. Maybe you don't want to hurt someone, but someone's going to get hurt because it's a third party situation going on here. But it could be vice versa. Aries, you have the Nine of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Aries, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Nine of Cups. For Aries, it is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. And this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Aries, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. 
Now, Aries, you can tell me that you're searching your emotions and using your intuition. You're over here overindulging, trying to numb out because they started a passionate beginning with someone else, another other lover here, a third party. So you're just trying to just numb out and get it off your mind, Aries. <clears throat> but Aries, I want to know if you're searching your emotions and using your intuition because your wish is to start up something with someone else, to be with someone else, to share this wand with someone else, to give this wand to someone else. Aries, maybe you're all up in your head fantasizing about this other person. And you're just like indecisive about whether or not to break up this happy home or commitment or relationship or you have and you're blocking them. And you're thinking about how you hurt them. You hurt them to do this. Aries. You have the Ten of Wands. Aries. Leo or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Aries, you're telling me that you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Aries. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Aries. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Aries. Aries, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Aries, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Now Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're burdened by the whole situation of them having another other lover with other options with this third party in you guys' relationship. So you're just ending it, blocking them, and walking away and releasing this burden here. However, Aries, you can tell me that you're finally releasing a burden and walking away because you're going towards somewhere where you want to be aries someone that you're in your head about that can put the smile on your face could be a water sign doesn't have to be but in the midst of you doing that it's going to hurt this person that you're in a relationship with had a commitment with hmm. i'm going to take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner aries if you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I pray that you would give me a second chance. I pray that you would give me a second chance. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Aries. And it says, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Aries, this will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 21st through July the 22nd, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.